adjourned. Accordingly, the House stands adjourned until noon tomorrow. A stalemate in the House of Representatives yet again. For the second straight day on Wednesday, Republicans failed to elect a leader. Several party members once more refusing to unite behind Donald Trump ally and California Congressman Kevin McCarthy. It's not as though momentum is shifting. Each side's digging their trenches deeper. And I think that's a disservice to those men and women that are overseas, depending on us, and to the people who elected us. The Republicans edged out a House majority in last year's midterms, and McCarthy has long been touted as the replacement for Democratic Speaker Nancy Pelosi. But his centrist backers are blaming a group of conservative hardliners for blocking his route to the job, and little promise of a compromise deal is in sight. Former President Trump had called an end to the McCarthy blockade, but even his staunch supporters have dismissed his comments, pointing to alternatives like Representative Jim Jordan. The president needs to tell Kevin McCarthy that, sir, you do not have the votes and it's time to withdraw. The 2023 speakership race has now become the first in a century to require multiple rounds of voting, leading to criticism from all quarters. To be able to have a Congress that can't function is just embarrassing. We're the greatest nation in the world. How can that be? As it stands, the chamber has been left unable to swear in members, full committees, adopt new legislation or negotiate a path forward for the country. Lawmakers elect, though, have to continue voting until someone wins a majority with another round now scheduled for Thursday.